Welcome to the Brady Events and Marketing Podcast, where we give you tips on planning great events for corporations, nonprofits, and also a really unique insight on marketing, too. Hi, everyone. I'm Elizabeth Morosco. I am an entrepreneur, CEO of Brady Events and Marketing, and publisher of Kudos Magazine. I've been consulting in events and marketing for over 20 years for various corporations and nonprofits. And the one thing I've learned is it's an industry that is continually changing. So make sure that you subscribe now so that you can stay up to date on the latest trends, tips, and things you need to know to help your organization or yourself shine on like a crazy diamond. So let's just jump right into it. All right, let's see if this works now. I'm just getting acclimated to... Uh, going live on podcast and getting a little bit familiar with all the little gadgets it offers. It's exciting, but sometimes you have to have a little bit of patience. So if you happen to come on, uh, drop a line in the chat box and say hello, because we are uh, live right now at 2 p.m. And uh, it's an exciting fall day. Uh, but today, earlier, I was scrolling through Facebook, and I stumbled across this video that just uh, actually cracked me up. It was a compilation of different athletes um, who just came short of reaching their goal, um, winning, crossing the finish line. And just before they were crossing the finish line, many of them um, throwing their arms up in victory. Uh, Something would come out of no place, whether it was their opponent or something out of the blue, and um, they they would lose. And it included, uh, like the first one they had was a runner who was running to the finish line, and before he got there, he's throwing his hands up, and then the guy behind him just passed him by. It was like a foot. And I guess it's something that can happen to us in our business and our personal lives when we don't really pay attention of, um, you know, the finer details of what's going on. And, you know, we sometimes get sidetracked and think that we're there and it's that last minute little adjustment. And And it's not necessarily just like for people that are running solo, you know, that's even like in team environments. In fact, in that compilation, they even had a, um, it was a volleyball team that had um, thought that they had won and they hadn't, while they were g- gathering in their huddle, uh, the opposing team hit the ball across the net and they ended up winning. So, um, you know, and such it happens with our business lives that sometimes different things can throw us off focus, um, whether it's assuming victory too soon or or a lot of things, and it, it kind of got me to thinking, you know, what are some of the things that we do to, you know, have an excuse for not being focused, or whatever you want to call it, some of them legitimate excuses, um, some of them excuses that, you know, really could be wrestled out easily by making a couple of adjustments. So I thought today we could talk about that a little bit. And if any of you happen to come on here, leave a comment um, for me. I'd love to hear some questions that you might have or struggles that you may have with staying focused and on task. And definitely, if you have insight on tips and things that have worked for you, we'd love to hear from you on that as well. So um, some of the things can even be just about you know, forgetting things and thinking it was done and not going back and double checking it. And that's where from like a business standpoint of really getting in there and starting to do analysis and management ahead of time to find out if there there is a problem, if you're falling short of reaching a goal, what adjustments you can make now so that you 
still have a chance to to reach your goal. And even right now, it's you know fall 2019. Some people may coast into gear and say, hey, wrapping it up for the year. But in reality, you still have a quarter of a year left. So why not kick into momentum and find out are the things that you can fine tune and improve? And are there things that you can do to, you know, grow and, you know, even exceed what your original goals were or are, you know? And that's what life is always about, finding out what's working, what's not, making adjustments so that you can get where where you want instead of just saying, okay, you know, I'll go with the flow. If you really want your business to excel, be proactive and start doing analysis and regularly checking up. You know, if spending time on, um, you know, uh, Facebook posting, is it working for your uh, business platform? Is YouTube working? What's working? What's not? What can you change? And start to do different things. Um, another thing is, and this one's key, is some people just get bored with what they're doing. And to me, I think it's a telltale sign that it's time to find something new. And that may be creating new opportunities within your organization, something that's fresh, uh, something that maybe has never been tried before, uh, and creating something so it's not just busy work that, you know, fills the day. Instead, find ways to infuse things that you love so that um, it's not just a task. It becomes something that you enjoy, you know. Um, I certainly like doing things that I enjoy um, uh, with a little bit more passion, I guess. I would say I would engage in it versus something that's, oh, it's monotonous again. So try new things. See if you can find something that will pique your curiosity so that you do feel engaged and you do feel excited about it. You know, maybe it's starting to pick up and do uh, Facebook Lives or do podcast lives. Like for me, um, I recently took on a challenge for, it's called OFA, One Funnel Away Challenge through ClickFunnels. And it led to a lot of new mindsets and uh, tools and uh, and it was an incredible experience. But one of the challenges that they had set forth was to create a commitment for 365 days on one platform and one that I hadn't really um, looked too much into in the past was podcasting. And I thought, well, you know, let's give it a gander. It was something um, that I could be that would be interesting. It could be a good fit for the way that we publish content. And voila, here I am today. So, um, but anyways, you know, it's important to make sure that you're doing things that make life um, something enjoyable. So try new things, continue to learn and grow and uh, don't compromise and just become bored and stagnant with life, you know. Uh, so a, a couple of other things uh, that can be an excuse for not keeping your focus are basic things that we hear all the time of being too tired or being distracted. And these are pretty simple, but it takes some commitment um, for the being tired part. Number one, start making a commitment to get better sleep. A lot of entrepreneurs will grind it and they think that that's the path to success and it's not it I mean it can be wonderful there's no problem with grinding but if you're not taking care of your body your body is not going to be able to produce for you the results that could be even better and this could be you know having clarity and thinking and making decisions or not making silly mistakes so make sure that you're taking the time to get the proper rest and uh, to sleep and to get out there, you know, hit the gym, if you can hit the gym. Um, If you're not a gym person, start being proactive and doing, you know, maybe a little bit extra walking outside and getting some fresh air. And, you know, just start getting your body moving. So if you want your body to do some of these things for you, you've got to give your body you know, some fuel and some energy so that it can, you know, it can help you, you know. 
It's all about what you put into it. And just like a vehicle, you have to get an oil change periodically. If you're not getting an oil change and not taking care of your body, it's just not going to be able to perform. So take some time, respect yourself, and you know, do a little bit of TLC. You deserve it. And that's another thing. Quit thinking of self-care as uh, being spoiled um, or something negative. It, it's actually a, a key part of being able to be successful is taking the time to take care of yourself. You know, and that may include taking the time to go to the dentist or the eye doctor or the regular doctor um, or even something simple like, um, I don't know, going to get a massage. That sounds really good. I haven't had one of those in a long time. So um, maybe that's my future goal too. Finally go out and get get some TLC and, and relax a little bit. So, um, you know, but those are things that are really simple that you can do for the, I feel tired or I, I'm just, I don't have enough time. This is another big thing. You've got to start turning off your gadgets. If you really want to have your business grow, you have to treat it like it's not just a hobby or, and this may be you already have a successful business, but you want to incorporate a new project or a new something. Um, you have to just allocate time to make it happen. And this could include things like Netflix that you're watching at night or that one hour of TV or scrolling through Facebook or YouTube videos through the evening is shutting it down and then start to commit that hour. Sometimes it's an hour, two or three, if some people are honest, and then say, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start to focus my effort on this instead because minutes turn to hours and hours turn to years. And if you start to take those minutes and use it wisely, that's how you can create a dream into a reality. And that includes even, you know, texting. I mean, how many people are notorious for standing in line or waiting and you're scrolling through, you know, the news feed of somebody else on Facebook or, you know, doing whatever? Start to turn those gadgets off. And if you're going to do something, make sure that your activity is about contributing to your you know, your publishing platform, whether that's Facebook or podcasting. Right now, everything is created in a way uh, that you can do everything remotely, whether, you know, through your your smartphone um, or through different plugins that you have at home. There's no reason not to be able to create the momentum that you need to go after either this new project or this new dream or this new whatever. You've just got to start to adjust the way that you spend some of your time. You know, um, I've seen people that have had a vision of creating a business and a couple of them were fantastic. A while ago, there were two women that were getting ready to launch a new business, but they had spent so much time in the background planning and talking about it and, you know, just not really creating an action plan. A lot of it was dreams. And, and this ties into the next thing is indecision. Um, unfortunately, in their case, you know, the six months ended up turning into a year which ended up leading to the idea just landing into a dust drawer somewhere with, you know, cobwebs and dust balls, you know, floating over it, I'm sure. Uh, but what was sad is uh, it was a great opportunity, but it didn't reach the point of making a decision to do it, to execute it. And years ago, for people that are maybe a little bit of rock and roll fans, uh, maybe familiar with Rush, and in one of their songs, it, it, he sings, Giddy Lee sings, um, if you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. And it, it comes true to your business. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can sit there and talk about it and brainstorm and learn all these new skill sets, take a bunch of classes online, you know, um, buy a bunch of books and software and then do nothing with it. 
And it's it's choosing not to decide. And that's actually making a choice. It's making a choice just not to do anything and spend a lot of time and money. So instead, start to make the commitment that you're going to you know, push forward and say, hey, you know, these are some of the goals that I have and these are some of the things that I want to do and, you know, and then just make it happen. But um, life is all about different little choices and, you know, it it can float away really, really quickly. Um, There's a verse in the Bible, Proverbs 14, 23, and it reads, in in all toil there is no profit, but mere talk tends only to poverty. And basically meaning, you know, go plant your seeds, but if you just talk about it, you're not going to have a harvest. You've got to go out and do something, you know, start to create an action plan that is legitimate to uh, align with what your goals are. You know, you got to get past just brainstorming and thinking about it. Instead, you got to create the action plan and then take that first step. It's kind of like jumping in uh, the pool or in the lake for the first time, you know, after summer, it's officially summer and there's that hesitation and you'll see some people that stick their toe in a little bit and then some people that will edge into it and then other crazy people that just like jump off the deck full force and say, I'm in. And, you know, really that's where you've got to get that you go running off that deck. You've, you've done the planning, you've done the, the thoughts that it's time to go jump in. So, you know, move away from indecision, move away from saying I'm tired or being distracted, get away from anything that's boring you. And, you know, make sure that you're double checking. Are you on track? Are, are you going back and analyzing or the actions you're taking putting you in the direction of what you want. And if not, make adjustments. You know, it's always about tweaking and and then staying focused on what you want. So years ago, ago, Roy Bennett had said, what you stay focused on will grow. So that's a question is, are you staying focused on starting to take just the action or just the learning or just the, the worrying? That's even worse. It's like at a whole nother level. You know, if you're at that that point, we ne- we need to get you fit into um, mindset. And for one of those, I want to suggest to you, if you're struggling with that, is pick up the book, The Four Agreements, um, because everything starts with your mind and your thoughts. But after that, you c- you've got to start. You know, you can pray about it. You can you know do all these great classes about it. But at a certain point, you got to take the step. So quit being afraid, start running in, uh, full force, but not like a fool, like the, uh, skater in the video who throwing his hands up, you know, thinking he had victory. And then the other guy just lapped him, just, (laughs) it was funny. He almost had to do a double take. It looked like, um, the road runner (laughs) going by, but he kept his eye off the goal and uh, just thought that he had already gotten there, and he hadn't. So we're still in 2019, and you still have time to break some incredible records this year and, you know, get involved, try new things. And, in fact, with our Kudos platform, we're expanding and doing new opportunities for starting for this year and then moving into next year that will include – Uh, You know, things from like the magazine to editorial to video production to graphic design to a whole bunch of other different things, a a phenomenal package. And, you know, that may be something that's a good fit for you. Um, If you're looking for some new avenues, make sure that you keep an eye out for uh, more information to come. It's um, It was a wonderful start to the year, but we're looking forward to how how we're going to wrap it up because we've been playing so, so much in the background, and now we're kind of like coming out full force, so it's exciting, including starting into this podcast and, you know, giving us a chance to share even more information, you know, in a new way that really, you know, leads down to healthy, happy living, you know. So if um, you haven't followed us on Facebook, you can find us at Time to Beam. 
And a simple way that you can connect with a lot of our videos is to do hashtag Beam30, B-E-A-M-30. And that will include a bunch of different videos and content that's focused on, you know, helping your business grow, including insights on, you know, technology and social media and marketing and events and management and, you know, the latest cutting edge of things that are working that we're finding. And I hope you come along for the journey. You can also subscribe to us. Um, Our podcast gets uploaded into uh, iTunes and iHeartRadio, SoundCloud. And then, of course, we also do a uh, share over to YouTube. I know that's a whole lot of different plugs, but just to give you an idea of where we're at and where we're going. But it's going to be a, um, I don't know, a very fun time. So I hope you come along for the journey. All right, you guys. In the meantime, thanks so much for listening. I wish you abundance success, and a whole bunch of smiles. Take care, you guys. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.